Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about absolute extrema. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here, y equals x to the fourth power minus 3x squared plus 4, and we want to find all points of absolute minima and maxima on our closed interval from negative 1 to positive 1. The first thing I like to do is find my derivative. f prime of x here is equal to power rule 4 comes down, x to the third power, minus 2 times 3 is a 6, x, and then derivative of the constant is just the 4. I take my derivative and set it equal to 0. 4x to the third power minus 6x equals 0. Pull out an x here, and we have x times a 4x squared minus 6 equals 0, and we can set both parts individually equal to 0 x equals 0, and a 4x squared minus 6 equals 0. Add a 6 to both sides, and we have 4x squared equals a positive 6. Divide both sides by 4, and x squared equals 6 divided by 4, or 3 halves. Square root both sides, and x equals a plus or minus the square root of 3 halves. Now one thing we want to check is with these critical values that we found, are they within our, our domain, our interval here? And square root, or uh, plus or minus the square root of 3 halves, are just outside of this domain. So we don't have to worry about them. We just have to worry about the 0 and our endpoints of our domain. So let's go find what happens when we plug them into our original function. f of negative 1 is a positive 2. f of positive 1 is a positive 2 as well. And f of 0, the critical value, plugged into our original equation, is a positive 4. So what does this tell us? Well, that means we have two minimum values that are the same at a y value of positive 2, and one maximum value when y is 4, or a maximum value of 4 when x is actually 0. So our absolute minima, right, the, the smaller y value here, is at negative 1, 2, and 1, positive 2, right? Our absolute maxima on our interval is 0, 4. So again, our final answer here is the absolute minimum at negative 1, 2 and positive 1, 2. And our absolute maxima happens at 0, 4. I hope this video was helpful for you. And if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math.